Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Well, it's been a great show so far, and we made it to the segment where it's all about the master technician's tech tip. That's right, hashtag MTTT. This time, we're gonna talk about exhaust and exhaust systems. Well, why do we even have a muffler? Why do we have exhaust? Well, we obviously wanna exhaust the car, make sure that it's quiet. We wanna get the fumes out the back, but it does a couple other things too. We'll take a look at the inside in a minute, but a lot of guys write into our social media, and they're asking questions about water dripping out of the tailpipe. Pipe. And that's super interesting because cars today, well, they're super efficient. What happens in the catalytic converter is you get HC hydrocarbons, CO carbon monoxide and NOx oxides and nitrogen going in. And what comes out if the catalytic converter is doing its job is water and CO2. That's right water and what happens with the water well it gets hung up in the exhaust system from the cat back so if you look right here real closely you can see a hole right here in the muffler that's actually by design that would actually drip the water out of the exhaust system and that could cause some problems in the associated hardware sometimes on the bolts a lot of exhausts today are made out of stainless steel and different alloys that can handle the water but you're getting a lot more water than usual so let's take a look inside i'm going to flip this over that's really cool in true tech garage fashion yep voila we cut one away and when we cut one away you can see inside of here what's going on you actually have your exhaust coming in and then you have a series of baffles that goes through this serves really two functions it quiets the exhaust and it creates a little bit of back pressure in the engine so when your valves open and your exhaust comes out it's not just free flowing and it also causes pulses believe it or not that actually evacuate some of the cylinders and get some of that spent fuel out so you can get more in a little bit more power and you can see here there's different welds and different channels in here any one of these can come loose probably we'll see a hammer test or tap it you can hear it rattling you could have problems internally in the muffler now back at tech garage for years I preached the big old pliers man and some oil I took some oil to take these hangers off these hangers are on the exhaust system and channel locks well friends those days are gone why man rockauto.com hooked us up with the tool of the century this thing right here pulls these hangers off and you're not going to believe this you know how you fight with these with pliers do it yourselfers and professional mechanics for years watch this voila easily just pops that thing off with no problem whatsoever goes inside of there and pops that hanger off man imagine making the job that easy once again exhaust tool they always say there's a tool for that and boy there is for that now we're talking about an exhaust inspection now when we get to an exhaust inspection it's important that you go through and you look at all the associated hardware the hangers the different gaskets the different shields everything down the exhaust and you want to get to the muffler and josh our resident ase master certified tech you're actually pulling an exhaust inspection you went from the front to the back looking at all the hangers the shields everything man what'd you find well, like I said, I went from the front to the back and I was just giving it a double look over because I know this is your son's car. I just want to make sure I didn't miss it in the first time. But the first time through, I was doing my hammer test, going through, tapping on everything. And the rattle, like you said, the rattle was bad. But what I found was, can you hear that difference? Big time. That's a huge, huge difference. So let's do this. Let's replace the exhaust tip. That's obviously the problem there. But let's go ahead and replace these exhaust hangers well. They deteriorate over time, and uh, it'd be a good idea to go ahead and take care of that. Now, you're ASC Master Certified. Can I use this high-tech tool? I hope you can. I'll, I don't know if you're capable. Let's try it out. Let's see. Here. That's it. You put it in gear. You got that nasty rattle. Awesome tech tip for this week, Josh, and I am capable. You are. And speaking of capable and able, we got Tom and Dave over at the table, experts when it comes to rockauto.com. Well, at least Tom is. 